Hey guys, my name is Alex with tips and tricks on algae's home entertainment within South Africa. Welcome to today's video. In this video guys, we're going to be doing a deep dive into the algae WebOS a Renew program so that you guys can understand it, we can look at the supported models as well as the timing and as well as understanding what the benefit is to the algae WebOS Renew program. If this video sounds exciting, remember to leave a like as well as subscribe and if you do have further more questions or inquiries, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Without wasting any more time, let's jump straight into this video. To understand the LG WebOS Renew program, we must distinguish between the difference of an LG regular TV update for the system and then looking at actually understanding what an operation system upgrade is. When it comes down to a regular TV update for your system, this could be to improve the UI, it could be to improve the security updates, it could be there to apply a patch to the TV. That is what a regular TV update is there for. When it comes down to an operating system upgrade this is taking your webOS from one version to a whole newer version and that is why LG webOS renew program was actually introduced it's to eliminate the need for purchasing a new TV year on year to enable new features on your TV now when it comes down to the LG webOS renew program it was announced in 2024 but it will date back all the way to 2022 TVs. So if you currently own an LG 2022 TV that is an OLED or a Qunity 8K model, well, you can then upgrade the WebOS from WebOS 22 to WebOS 23. And let me show you what fantastic features you can now get on your LG OLED from 2022 or the Qunity 8K model from 2022 when you upgrade from WebOS 22 to webOS 23 on my LG 2023 TV that is currently running webOS 23. This right here is webOS 23 in which you can get now on your LG OLED and Qunity AK model that is running webOS 22. Well, when it comes down to webOS 22, you have multiple pages to your home screen. I'm currently scrolling down and the best thing is there is no multiple pages to WebOS 23. The reason for that is we introduced what we call quick cards in a WebOS 23 that is essentially folders that have the services and applications according to the quick card title. So if you go into the music quick card, guess what? Everything music related with a service or app is available in the music quick card. That way it is easier to navigate on your home screen and to find your favorite application according to the folder it is found in. You got your YouTube, you got Spotify, you got Apple Music, you got Deezer, you got all the likes of your music applications found directly over here. That is one of the main benefits to WebOS 23. There are many features that we can mention when it comes down to the WebOS 23, but that's why we've made this channel to give you tips and tricks on all of the functionality. And there are many videos we've made on the channel. So make sure to click ahead and learn more about the WebOS 23 once you've upgraded from your 2022 OLED and QNED 8K model. Please bear in mind that there might be limited features available on your LG TV once upgraded due to the fact of hardware specifications. Let's move over to the next topic. Okay, so the supported models in 2022 is going to be the OLEDs and QNED 8K models and you can expect WebOS upgrades all the way from WebOS 22 to WebOS 26. When it comes down to the 2023 models, we can look at OLED and QNED as well as maybe even more supported from WebOS 23 all the way to WebOS 27. If you guys are looking to upgrade from WebOS 23 to WebOS 24, well, you can expect an early update in 2025. Guys, WebOS Renew program is changing the way we use our LG Smart TVs to keep them up to date with the latest features coming to your LG Smart TV. It's like using a mobile phone going from iOS 13 to iOS 17 and I think it's an absolute investment into purchasing an LG Smart TV with guaranteed five years of WebOS functionality. 
amazing right well guys thank you so much for watching today's video if again you have any more further questions or comments make sure to drop them down below and i'll leave all the supporting material in the description so that you guys can better understand what the lg webos renew program is all about as always guys i would appreciate if you guys could like and subscribe and make sure that you guys stay good until the next video see you then